What's going on you guys? So another Acer Aspire to model XC 1660G and gonna be upgrades. I'll switch it to the other side. So what you guys need is uh, pliers. I need a original Phillips head. This is like a small Phillips head and I need a flathead screwdriver. So there'll be two screws in the back that you have to remove. You're gonna slide it to the left, so I cover panel. And to do that, I cannot remove the front cover until you remove the optical drive right here in the front. And you have to disconnect, here's a middle screw here. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna disconnect the power and SATA cable from the optical, from the, the DVD drive. slide out like this jelly because this will require to remove the optical drive before you move the front cover basil now see this cage here it actually holds by there are, where is it, one, two, three, four screws here in the front you have to remove. Actually, another one here in the middle of the other movie here. Also, I'm just gonna hold this up with this so you guys can see. And let's push it out. So, and it's gonna slide to the left side. Like this it comes out and just disconnect the you say the cable here so this is also has a three and a half inch uh, hard drive that I'm going to have to install it's for extra storage I'm gonna be using a SSHD, it's two terabytes. So I'm gonna switch it like this. And they also, <clears throat> when you buy a new PC, they give you, uh, they, they come with the screws for the hard drive. Can only install one way you see that say the power cable is going to be going to the top i'm just going to switch from the top actually
Okay, this is complete. Install all the install the four screws. And now what I will do is it's got a DDR4 only eight gigs of RAM, single channel. It's kind of slow. And I'm gonna install one more stick to make it 16 gigs total. It's using DDR4 3200. I'll show you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be installing uh, one terabyte the Evo Plus, the NVMe M.2, and I also installed the heatsink on it. I'm gonna show you. I'll pop a link in the description. You guys can buy it also. I'm gonna show you the box. Yeah, they sell them for this one or the other one you can buy. Yeah, it's available through Amazon. So basically, the parts, guys. Uh, for the I'll show you guys everything else. So. And also about the video card. Also, so if you're buying the video card. The hard drive RAM and the SSD and the and the heatsink. It costs over five hundred dollars over five hundred dollars here in the United States. So basically the computer was actually the cost of the computer was brand new five sixty nine plus tax over six hundred dollars for just for the computer. So you're looking about over eleven hundred dollars total cost for everything. <clears throat> you guys are asking me. And slow, I'm, I'm located here in the United States. So we'll go ahead and uh, install. The SSD here, so I'm gonna remove it. You guys can see it here. comes out it's gonna go like this pull it. this has a thermal pad on here so I'm gonna remove it I'm gonna see if I can install this one This has a thermal pad here in the bottom. You see that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually remove it. I don't need it. Yeah, it does have it. I'll take this off. This is for the run a lot cooler, but I don't need it. installed <clears throat> right, what I will do is I'm gonna go in and install another stick here of DDR4 RAM and you're gonna press this up right here this little right here and you can only install it one way you're gonna hit two clicks. And what I will do is, the if you guys are asking me, the power supply in here is actually for 300 watts. So Acer did a good job. So you don't, so basically I'm gonna install a GTX 1650, low profile and run perfectly. So what I will do is, I'm gonna switch it to the other side like this. <clears throat> and what this has is, a, you see the PCI brackets? It's mounted to the case, and the only way you're gonna remove it, you need a pliers. Take a flathead screwdriver. Take this off. 
because uh, the GTX 1650 uses two PCI slots. So I got to remove it. Generally, I'm just cut those off. Same as the bottom one. <clears throat> That's what also comes out. So this one is, uh, or if you guys want to get the 1650, you can also use the GT, GT 1030 if you want. That's a slow reading card. <clears throat> and also you have to replace the, the, see the, 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 the the back cover, the low profile bracket, that's how it will have to be replaced. And because this is a small form factor PC, don't forget, because when you buy the VD cord, it comes with the both uh, full height bracket and the low profile bracket is also included with the VD card. And you're gonna install it here through the PCI Express Time 16 slot right here, the top one, the black one. Because <clears throat> the bottom one here, that's a, uh, PCI Express times one, but it's the bottom one. So what I'll do probably just lift it up like this, so you guys can see, and install the video card. So what I need to do is I need to install extra. Uh, this is a SATA cable for the hard drive. And to do that, I wanna, okay, so this is a SATA 2, SATA 1. And that's a, so I'm gonna install it right here, the first one. I'm gonna probably install it here, okay. do is I'm gonna connect it uh, I guess it's gonna have this okay and you're putting <clears throat> the SATA cable at the same time like this and this is for the optical drive and you're gonna connect this back you see right here the cable? This is for the optical drive. You're gonna connect it back to the motherboard. Right, so I'm gonna install back the cage. And what I need to do is, hold on guys. Mounted on the top side here, and this is going to slide to the right like this. Okay, it's complete. So, what I have to do is mount it the screws.
so there'll be two more screws on the right side you have to mount okay, that's installed that'll be the last one here in the middle here in the top so what I will do is I'm gonna lift it up I guess I install it There, you see that now you know, I'll install uh, the optical drive back and it's only one way it will be this way forgot guys sorry so we have to install the front cover first before we do that I'm confused with the Dell oh, this is not a Dell so so you're gonna front of come with basically like this gently now you're gonna install back the optical drive Now you're gonna mount the screw back. Now you're gonna install the SATA and power cable back to the optical drive. It's gonna be a corner like this, as you guys can see. See if I need to mount the screw here or not. I'm gonna look at here. Oh, okay. So I might install one here. Let me see if I can have some extra ones. Install here. Just one. Should be fine. Yeah, you probably will require to install one screw here for the video card so it doesn't move anywhere. Kind of video card look like in the back it's got the dvi port and the hdmi port so complete for the, for the gaming upgrades so guys this will be the end of the video and i will upload a separate video for the teardown for this, this brand new pc so thanks for watching bye